Hey guys, so we are here today to talk about my favorite misogynists, Fresh and Fit, or as I like to call them, Fraud and Fragile. So <laughs> if you don't know, a clip has been going semi-viral across TikTok of Myron saying that women having Instagram is cheating. Now, if you're an OG in the Fresh and Fit mockery lifestyle, you'll know that this is an old clip. My cat is over here causing, excuse me, a ruckus. You're gonna be loud, you have to let the people see your cute face. She literally behaves until I start filming and then she needs all the attention in the world. So as this clip has been going around more, I think they're getting a little bit more attention, which is like unfortunate, but not so unfortunate because they went on an Australian radio show and <laughs> uh, got owned by the hosts. There is just something about a posh Australian lady telling Fresh and Fit they're misogynist that just like spoke to my soul. And a couple of the clips have been going viral so I knew I had to find the full uh, video and we're gonna go over some of the main clips from the video and just do a little discuss. So before you end this video, subscribe to my channel. I upload twice a week and you should stick around. We do commentary videos here, curvy girl style, whatever the fuck I'm feeling. So let's get into the shenanigans. Do you believe that any woman in a relationship should not have Instagram or are you saying that just women who are in a relationship and are, and are posing in their bikinis or, you know, doing any kind of a sultry sort of stuff, they're the ones that shouldn't have Instagram? Well, if you're in a serious committed relationship with a guy and you have, you know, sexy photos of yourself on the internet, you know, Instagram is just one medium that you can do it. Yeah, it is cheating. Cheating? Like, what about the guy? Is he, if he if he's in a relationship, is he allowed to have Instagram? Well, we're different. We're not in our undies. Sorry, Carl. I don't think I was down. asking you. I was asking uh -oh. these guys. Well, You'll see how uh, it is uh, over uh, here. Well, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. Are men and women equal? Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, we're not at all. Okay. We're not. Oh, here we go. Uh, men and women you, you, are different. So why are we, yes, we're different. Of <laughs> okay. Why do male podcasts always have one dude who says the most outlandish shit on earth and then another dude who just like says, mm, yeah, totally got you. Like Fresh says nothing, nothing of value ever. Myron is always the one saying outlandish shit that's like getting them in trouble and Fresh just like sits there. I can't. Also, our girl Jackie O brings up a good point here. Like, relationships are about compromise and about what you're comfortable with. And like, if a dude isn't comfortable with his girlfriend like posting bikini pics online, that's a conversation they can have. But also, what she's trying to bring up here is the double standard of like, if men can have, if women can't have Instagram, then why can't men? It's like there was a clip going around where, uh, actually Fresh was saying that uh, he should have his girlfriend's password to Instagram. And then the girl was like, okay, that's fine, but then I want your password. And he was like, well, no. <laughs> it's like, no, no, you don't get to have all the power in the relationship because you have a dick between your legs. I'm so sorry. I know the world has told you that, but they lied. Of course we're different, but, you know, were you talking about pay parity? What are you talking about when it comes to being different? Well, the definition of equality is being the same in quantity, size, degree, or value. And nothing between us is equal. We're very different. What you don't I mean think we are of equal value? Uh, well, here's the thing. From a human's rights perspective and, you, you know, the value of your life, yes, we're equal. No one is better than anyone in that regard. But when it comes to biology and intersexual dynamics, we're 100% different. So the reason why is because we have differing sexual strategies. Men want quantity. Women want quality. We're very different. So what's what men can do, women can't necessarily do sometimes. So we're not the same. So... And it's Sorry. just unfortunately a double standard that, that does not benefit women for once. Do you love that he just said that all double standards benefit women? It's an unfortunate double standard that doesn't benefit women for once. Like the double standards in society are always at the benefit of women. Says the man who can fuck anything that lives and be seen as a hero, but if a girl does it, she's a whore who doesn't deserve to ever have love. I fucking hate these guys. Can a man be on Instagram a, a, yes. in a relationship, but yes. not a woman? It's not the same. It's, it's not the same. Why? Well, it, does it it's depend the on the content that well, they're putting out? Like, if I'm to. shirtless on Instagram, like showing me big fat man boobs and gyrating around a sexy dance, 
that would be cheap. What if I was just on there talking about, you know, fitness apps and stuff? That's a whole different vibe. So it's content related, right? Yeah, but the thing is, is that I don't think people understand this, that a man that's the, one, even a man that's extremely good looking is not going to get nearly the amount of options that a woman that's mediocre. Men do not get nearly the same amount of uh, but sexual attention. But they're still getting it. So I don't it's understand. Not, not as much as, uh, like, you know, not there's a lot much. of sexy but so girls But just online. because a girl might get, say, let's say 50 DMs that are, have guys wanting to date her, and the guy gets 20 DMs, yes, there might be a little difference there, but they're still getting hit on by let's, females. Let's get back to the... Also, can we just, like, stop for a second and say, like... Later on, a caller calls in named Kayla. We love her. I'm not going to play the clip because, like, I'm just going to stop it when they stop. But she basically says what I'm thinking right now, which is you're saying that it's women. Women can't have Instagram because men exist. Like, men are gross and creepy and they're going to slide in your DM. So you can't have Instagram, which then puts the onus on the woman for man's behavior. But, like, if you're in a relationship, again, if you guys don't want someone posting sexy photos, that's a conversation to be had. And if you're okay with that, you guys can make that agreement. But you're, again, putting the onus on women for what men are doing in their DMs. Let's say you go to the, uh, to the dealership and you buy a brand new Range Rover, mm -hmm. okay? Range Rover Sport, 300K, right? Yep. So you drive it off, you, you know, you, you shake hands with the car dealer, sign the paperwork, pay the money, buy it cash, you're good to go, drive it off the lot, you don't care about it losing value, or whatever, this is your dream car. Mm -hmm. Take it back to your house. Two weeks later, okay, the, uh, the car dealer comes back to your place, says, hey, listen, man, we're kind of short on cars, uh, we're going to need to put a for sale sign on your car and a couple of days a week, we're going to just need to put it on display back at the dealership and, you know, one or two people might test drive it. Are you okay with that? <laughs> How would that make you feel? I know the How analogy you're trying to make. I own that car. I don't own my partner in a relationship, though. I don't on, own them. On. Again, answer the question. How would that make you feel? Well, obviously, I wouldn't be okay with that. Okay, thank you. That's exactly how men feel when they're women post sexy photos of themselves on the and, internet and to advertise to other men because women, men are territorial with their women. It's been that way since the beginning of you time. You don't so own us in a relationship so we can post what we want. That's ding, ding, ding. Jackie is right. Also, Fresh and Fit are fucking... Just why does every man in the manosphere have to fucking refer to women as objects and not even just objects, but an object that you purchased? You don't fucking buy a woman. A relationship is a partnership. It is two people coming together that like each other and want to be together. Like if you're in a relationship and you think you own your fucking woman, you're trash. That's just it. Also, I want to point out here that it's important to note that Myron is talking about what's cheating and what's not. Um, and he has literally admitted that he has never been in a long-term relationship before. So why are we taking advice from him? And like, just stop fucking talking about women like we're God. Why is it always cars? Always. I'm so, here's the thing. I'm explaining to you how <laughs> men view relationships. You might Myron likes to do this thing. I'm sorry, I can't stop pausing this. I feel like a streamer. Myron likes to do this thing where he says, this is what men think. And while sure some men think that, um, that doesn't mean that women need to change the way they act because some shitty men think that way. Men that think that way um, are telling on themselves. And honestly, keep thinking that way because it's a great way to ensure that no woman ever wants to touch you. You're gonna think that way and she's like, oh, red flag, bye. Like, I don't care if men think that way. First of all, many, many men don't think that way. No one, most men don't think your girlfriend having Instagram is cheating. If you trust your partner, them having Instagram is them having Instagram. I post outfit pictures, my husband takes them for me. He posts whatever, I take it for him. I don't think him having Instagram is fucking cheating. And then even get into like people like following hot people. My husband follows just hot girls on Instagram. I don't give a fuck. Like, trust, people. It's about trust and communication and a mutual respect, but Myron doesn't understand how to respect women. I not like it. It might hurt your feelings. You might say, I'm not a piece of property or whatever, but with all due respect, fuck your feelings. This is well, your feelings. I don't yeah, care about okay. your feelings either. I'm not using feelings. Like, literally, you can't tell a woman to fuck her feelings. 
when you want to be in relationships with women like i hate to break it to you myron but she's telling you how women feel and you don't fucking care maybe this is why you've never been in a long-term relationship maybe this is why nobody wants you because you don't understand myron wants myron has literally said that he wants to like go overseas to get a submissive woman because women in north america are too hard-headed and like have thoughts how dare they because myron doesn't want a partner myron wants a sub First of all, you are, do you live in the 1960s? Women are making their own money these days, my friend. I am the one that supports the man in a relationship. I don't need security from a man. You just... Okay, that you, might be you. And that's a lot of women. What's interesting is Myron, like I said, always talks about like a traditional view of marriage. He talks about how a woman stays home and the man provides security in the form of money and in the form of he goes on and on about defending you and like protecting you in like a potential home invasion that's like never gonna happen because we live in fucking 2022 and like i like i said married for 15 for 13 years and my husband and i split things 50 50 we have a shared bank account we make about the same amount of money i actually make more than him um currently he's made more than me in the past it's just how it is like like most relationships do not have people making like a wife stays at home and the husband makes all the money it's fucking 2022 you can't live in this fucking society without two incomes so that's how like most human beings operate like sure myron's rich but he is influencing an entire like generation of young men that are listening to him thinking about this bullshit and like yeah, sure, this may be true for some people if, like, that's the relationship you have with your wife, but, like, most women aren't like that and most relationships aren't like that because generally it's two people coming together to split things, either 50-50 or I believe in, like, an equity split, like, depending on, like, whoever makes more money pays a slightly higher percentage, but that's a whole other story. But, like, Myron talks about these things, like, women are just barefoot and naked in the kitchen doing all the cooking and the cleaning and the husband brings home the bacon and she fries it up and then if there's a potential home invasion he's gonna like put his whole life on the line for her and like first of all I fucking hate the whole like protect you thing because like yeah your husband should make you feel safe but like my husband has never had to protect me we've married for 13 years I live in Canada so there's not a whole lot of crime here but like home invasions don't just happen most people go their whole life without their husband having to fucking protect them from a home invasion. So, like, I don't know why you're using that as an excuse. The thing is, is you're saying a guy can post sexy photos and he can do that in a relationship. Yes, yes. men and women are not the same. Right. So, but you said that men love qu quantity over quality, right? So well, you, that is yes. true. you'll react differently when a female pays you attention to what a, a, a female would. In oh, any any attention from any female ever is just uh, we think. Oh, yeah, they want to bang us. That's what we think. Yeah. And so you, I believe that you guys are more likely to act on it because, like you said, it's quality over quantity. That's correct. This is a great fucking point she makes. Like, if, like, Myron, what, if what Myron is saying is true and men get about half the amount of DMs that women get, but men also prefer quantity over quality, whereas women prefer quantity, prefer quality. Like, when creepy men DM us, we just ignore it. I'm just going to be honest with you. Unless we want to fuck around with them and just, like, make them think that we're interested or tell them to go fuck off. Um, but like 90% of the time women just ignore it. Like most of us don't even look at our fucking requests because we don't want to see creepy men in them. Um, do you know how many men have asked me to be their sugar baby? Many. Um, but like that doesn't mean I'm doing anything wrong. And again, then what she's saying is that if you're saying men prefer quality over quantity, then why is it that women can't have Instagram but men can when men will obviously engage with it? Don't worry, Myron has an answer and it's awful. Men of status, men that are attractive, that uh, have uh, uh, money. Hey, it's just exercising options. Men are going to go ahead and enact on those options if they have the ability to do so. So my thing is a man is capable of having sex with other women while still loving his girl the same. So it's not that big a deal. Wait, but it is so, a big deal so if your girl's out here and are fielding options. If your woman's out here fielding options... Bingo. That's an issue. Oh, Bingo. sorry. So Bingo. you're actually Bingo. saying that in a relationship, it's okay for men to go and explore other options, but we have to be happy with you and not explore options. Absolutely. Ah! <laughs> My cat just 
just looked at me. <sighs> guys, uh, guys, is this a real human being? People listen to him like he knows things. I want to, I just did scream. I don't want to scream. I screamed. I want to die. So Myron thinks that women should have sex with you all the time when they're your wife, should not have Instagram. So they should just stay at home and stare at the wall all day. While you're at work, when you come home, they should spread their legs and be ready. And then also you can go fuck anyone you want. Did I mention that Myron has never been in a relationship? I just would like to make that clear that no woman has ever agreed to this fucking commitment with him. And it's one thing if he had an open relationship, but like he just, he's gonna, he said, basically comes out, goes out and says, open on my end, closed on yours. So it's not even an open relationship, just on his end. He wants to be able to fuck whoever he wants, but then have someone at home to support him mentally and emotionally and do all the emotional labor in his household and raise his children while he brings in the money and fucks anything that moves. Like, I have a real question and it's who is having sex with Myron Gaines? He's not even that, like, for his attractiveness level on the scale, his audacity should not be this high. It just shouldn't. I'm so sorry. Can all men get away with this? Absolutely not. A small minority of men can. But the reality is, is the beginning of time, strong, powerful men, right, that had money and status were always able to have hordes of women. Look at Hugh Hefner. Look at Dan Blazarin. Look at kings. Look at sultans of past. This, this is what women do. Women are attracted to men. But it is, mate, bro, women. I spoke, I spoke to Dan. I spoke to Dan. I spoke to Dan Balsarian. Yeah, I'm sick of you asking to finish your long, boring answers that are the same answer every time we ask you a question. Even Dan Balsarian last week well, told to me to show. my face, to, yeah, so fucking what, clown? Here you are on the show. I can turn you off as well. Just turn these clowns off. See you, fellas. Grow up. Ring us back when you're 30 and you've got half a brain. You're not running around being led by your own dicks. Bye-bye. See, See you ya. later. Turn Bye. them off. Okay, after this, they just have, like, some call-in questions and stuff, and people, and they're basically making fun of them. He does finish his point that basically Dan Bilzerian, who Myron mentioned, actually has said that he feels fucking lonely. That all the partying and the girls doesn't make him not lonely. Because the reason people want to be in relationships is to build a partnership and to have someone to have their, you know, respect them and be loyal to them and have like, you know, their emotional and mental support system. Like relationships are not just a fucking hole that you go home and fuck who raises your kids for you and then you get to do whatever the fuck you want. But like I said, Myron has never been in a relationship before. This was so fucking funny to watch. Honestly, Fresh and Fit keep embarrassing themselves. Like I can't, I can't. It's so funny to watch. But it's also disgusting to know that there are a bunch of young men who look up to them in the manosphere who think that these guys have some fucking secrets. But like this isn't how relationships work. This is toxic and this is not how any woman deserves to be treated by a man who pretends to love her. Like I also love that Myron nowhere ever discusses being in a relationship as like love being the foundation of that because love and respect should be the foundation of a relationship. That's what it's built off of. You don't just choose a partner because you think you can fucking manipulate her and boss her around and she'll submit to you. You choose a partner because it's someone that you enjoy spending time with. That's what people always say, like, my husband is my best friend. I just, I think I have a migraine now. <laughs> Honestly, fresh and fit keep getting worse. Who's surprised? But I guess I'm cheating on my husband every day because I have Instagram. What about you ladies? Don't regret it. Honestly, my husband comments on my pictures and hypes me up and thinks I'm cute. And if we go to a tropical destination, he doesn't throw a fucking paper bag over me and tell everyone they can't look at me <laughs> or I can't post pictures because I'm in a bikini and it's sacred. Like no one owns your body. You can, like, of course, have conversations with your spouse about what you prefer, but there shouldn't be double standards. And no one should be cheating on you. No one should be telling you that having Instagram is cheating and disrespectful and then turning around and saying that it's okay for him to fuck other girls, which is literal cheating. Trash. 
Fraud and Fragile are at it again. Like I said, Fresh used to date a sugar baby, so everything they say is a fucking lie anyways. And this is just more bullshit. Like, I hate, I hate everything about this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, my torture. Uh, would love to know what your opinions are on Fresh and Fit in the comments down below. Let's eat them up. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.